So, Ricard back again with an interview over Skype, and I'm talking to Eugene Kachalov. Eugene, how are you? Hey, Ricard, I'm good. Yeah, and uh, you, you're still staying fit, I guess. I am still staying fit, and uh, yeah. Has it, has, I it, guess I'm... has it become an obsession? Uh, I think you could say so, yeah. I'm like, we're, you know, we're, we're like here in a villa for like the next four weeks playing W Coop, and, and we're like taking the diet really, really seriously. Uh, training's really, really serious. We're basically eating only what our trainer tells us to eat, and I don't know. Just really, I just really want to see how far I can go with this. What kind of results I can have? So, so have you set some kind of goal or, or deadline or end of it, end to it? I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. I was kind of thinking about that myself lately. Um, I don't think I have like an end result. There's just, I just want to see how far I can go with this, and you know, maybe like you know, we get like. like our trainer checks us like every three weeks. He checks all our like measurements and stuff to see how far we've progressed, how much muscle we've built, how much you know body fat we've lost, um, like all these things. Just uh, and we just try to push it as far as we can. I mean, I just really, I just really enjoy it. Um, so, yeah. uh, is it the same group as before, or are there any newcomers? It's pretty much the same group. I mean, there's some some extra people, but yeah. Regard in regards to four players, it's just me and Nucky. You and Elke, okay, well, that's good. Now I I I, yeah. I, I talked to you. Uh, I think it was two days ago, and you were like uh, in a good position. Then you were sh sort of short, and then you ended up winning a W Coupe event. How does that feel? <laughs> Seems like that happens to me in a lot of events that that I've won in the past. That I'm <laughs> I'm pretty short at some point. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, it feels great. I feel it feels really really amazing. Um, it's uh, I don't know. Obviously, like when I won it, I was like jumping up and down and. Uh, I was quite happy. Uh, couldn't really sleep, even yeah. though I was really, really sleepy. Um, you know, winning any is probably one of the best feelings in the world. So yeah. it's yeah, something yeah. like something you always strive for. Did you, did you did you win only one before, or I've won one before, so this is my second one. Okay. So what 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 are you awarded apart from the money these days for winning one of those? I mean, the money isn't even that big, relatively speaking, uh, yeah. for for you know W group tournaments. But it's just winning is so nice. Uh, obviously, having the bracelets is amazing. And uh, do, you, just, do you do you get an actual bracelet, or is this just a term? Or do you no, get, you you get you get an actual bracelet. Yeah, yeah, yeah you get a W group bracelet. That's pretty uh, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's you know it's bra bragging rights. Of course. I mean, uh, the, the bracelet, however often you will use it live, it, it's still there to show off and... and uh, well, I, I don't, I've never worn, I'm never going to wear it. I don't wear, i never worn any of the bracelets that I've worn. Yeah. It's more like to add to my dad's collection. He's already asking me when he's getting it because yeah. he, he collects them, so... Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah so. that's good. So what was the event? Was it um, uh, Stud yeah. High Low, right? Yeah, it was a Stud High Low. How come you, uh, it's a Halo Championship. Have you studied it, or, or do you think you're decent in that game? I've played quite a bit of it um, in the mixed games, um, so I just I have a lot of experience playing it. Whether it's playing mixed games live online, I've just um, I've played it a lot, so uh, I feel like I have a pretty pretty decent edge in it. Um, I see some some pretty pretty crucial mistakes a lot of people make, so yeah. you know, I think it's a good game. To, it's a good game for me to play. Okay, and, and turn tournaments from it. When it comes to all those mixed games uh, that pe people don't play as much as No Limit Hold'em, which one would you hold as your strongest? As my strongest? Um, it's tough to say. I, I think. I mean, I know I've played. I've played a lot of Omaha High Low, Limit Omaha High Low. Yeah. I, I would. I would think that's probably one of my stronger, stronger games. Um, but recently, I mean, obviously, after winning this tournament, I feel pretty good about my stud high low game. Yeah, of course. I also like stud. I like I like stud high as well. Yeah. Um, obviously, because I've won a bracelet in that in the World Series. So uh, yeah. Is, is, is there something that you improved recently that you would say is a very important lesson to learn when it comes to stud high low? Something specific. Something specific. Um. You know, in the tournament, there were some there were some hands that I I don't remember. There were like one or two instances of hands that I folded that I would not fold in a cash game. Right. And I just remember thinking to myself, like, it's just not a good gamble in a tournament because I could probably find a better spot. Right. Um, whereas in the cash game, it's probably a slightly incorrect fold. Right. Um, but I, in my opinion, in a tournament, it's probably a correct fold because you should you know you don't have all that many chips to play a lot of hands. So if you're going to play a hand to the end, you know you should. 
choose carefully what you play. I, I saw one hand because I was semi railing you, uh, and uh, I, I think you had ace, do six of hearts on the on the table, and you bet out, and there was a raise and a call, and you decided to fold there. Do you remember that hand? Um, I think you had ace, do six on the table, which looks pretty scary. The other guy, oh, had, well, yeah. the other guy had three, four, five, I think, and one guy had a a pair or something like that. Oh, oh, and I folded on on fifth street. I, I don't know. Maybe you folded on sixth street. I think you folded on sixth. I probably folded on sixth. Yeah, I probably didn't approve. I mean, obviously, I, I even though my board looks scary, I probably had just uh, yeah. maybe like a pair. Yeah. Or like two pair in the hole, or something that just didn't really connect. Yeah. Uh, A's, deuce. and it was really high blinds. It wasn't that far left, you know. So I yeah, think perhaps it was, an, it was a very important fold, probably, <coughs> since it get, got you to the, to the win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, there were some times where I had like just enough to play one hand, so I really had to pick yeah. and choose yeah. uh, which hands to play and which situations to get involved in and which not to. Are you uh, <coughs> are you grinding so hard? How many tournaments of the W Coop are you uh, playing? I'm playing, I mean, so far I've played every single one, so uh, I plan on playing most of them, except on Tuesday we're flying to Paris to play the WPT there. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss, uh, basically, depending on how long I last in there, that's, that's how long I'll miss of the W Coup. Then I'll be back and, and, play, and continue playing W Coup. Okay. So compared to uh, World Series of Poker Live, um, what are the biggest uh, advantages of playing W Coup? Uh, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess the advantage, I mean, look, I mean, obviously, like, your normal online advantages of, you know, just being comfortable at home. Um, but at the same time, I, I would say, I mean, it's hard to say. Look, the, the binds are much smaller online yeah. than they are live. So I would say you have more weaker players online, perhaps. Yeah. Although that's not, although live is kind of similar. Um, I don't know. Just like any any of the reasons when you ask people uh, the difference between online and live pool, yeah, I think yeah, I, I hear so it's, I, not, it's not nothing I, else. I think specifically when you, it's such a grind and so many tournaments, but I mean the tournaments are not as long as many hours usually on average, right? Uh, online, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like this tournament, the one, the, this tournament to me, I think eleven hours. Yeah. Uh, to play. And if you would play that live, it would be at least two full days. Yeah, I would say maybe even three. I, I would say even three. They would even make three. the 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 structure usually, would be three days. Usually, what they do is it's two two full days in the final table. The right, day. right. That's what I thought, yeah. and that would be maybe three full days to win win a win that tournament. So I yeah, mean, that's because you know you play many more hands on the line. And, yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay, excellent to talk to you, Gene, and hopefully uh, you you make some new good results, and we get the chance to talk Thanks. to you again. Good idea. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be talking about. No, my second bracelet. So I mean, my second bracelet this year. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to play a few. As well, well, you know, also, do you know about my bet with Elky? No, tell me about it. Interesting. Yeah, I thought because uh, we're talking about it on on the W radio a lot. Yeah. Like, actually, you're asking about it to work out. I think it's uh, it actually you know has a lot to do with that as well. We bet on uh, on the W group. So for the person who, who Wins. We have three separate bets. So for the person who wins uh, the TLB, like TLB points, uh, the person who loses will have to do an interview in the other person's language at the PTA. No, really. So that's funny. Yeah. Ukrainian and so, French. So if I lose, I, I have to do an interview in French, Russian and French, Russian. Right, and Russian. French, sorry, yeah. of course. So, yeah, yeah. So Russian and French. <laughs> so it's gonna be tough, but, but by the PTA. And if you fail to do that. Then you will have three months, uh, to, uh, and you have to prepare yourself to run a marathon, a full marathon. Oh really? Yeah. yeah that's a and pretty <laughs> tough choice, man. That's a tough bet. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, so I, I, I mean, sorry, we're definitely gonna try. I, I, it was lagging a little bit. You said the KOB. I didn't hear what you said there. Who's gonna be the the highest ranked or, or what? Oh, in the TLB, the T, the tournament leaderboard. Ah, T. Okay, sorry, TLB. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Tournament leaderboard. Whoever is the the yeah, whoever loses there um, yeah. in points will have to will have to learn the language. Uh, and you're in a good spot the, right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm quite ahead now. And then uh, the second and bet. The second bet is the person uh, who 
who who, ca- who cashes for more money during the series? Uh, so the person who cashes for less for less money between us will have to uh, when we go to con, and then from con we have to go to San Remo. Well, that person will have to ride a bicycle from con to San Remo, That's a long which way, is about right? 130 kilometers. <laughs> okay, okay, good bet. <laughs> yeah, but it's, yeah. It's, I think it's cool. <laughs> so, so that's that's the second one, and uh, the third one, the third one, the I guess the simpler of them is just for the person with the most number of caches. Yeah. Uh, this year, the loser there will have to do, will have twelve hours to do one thousand push-ups. One thousand push-ups. Yeah. In twelve hours? <laughs> Did you say twelve hours? Yes, twelve hours. Yeah. yeah. Are you are you that fit now? We're pretty fit. I mean, it's actually it's probably a little bit easier than it sounds. I know it sounds like it's crazy, but you know we're fit enough to do it now. I think, yeah. I mean, uh, if you if you would uh, make a budget for the, a push up budget, you you would do fifty at a time, maybe. So you would have to go for twenty times. Even fifty, even fifty is a lot, actually. Honestly, for, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I when, probably... I, when I trained a lot, I, I I remember I came up to fifty and I said I don't have to me- do more than this. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. tough to do. 50. But you have twelve hours. Twelve hours. Okay. It's very tough to do 50, but 12, 12 hours a lot. So it might be hard to play be online the day after because your arms are gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we're done. That's why we're doing it after we're done. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Excellent. We're gonna keep a track on that then. Uh, are you ahead in all right. three? Uh, yeah, so far I'm ahead. Yeah, I've had five caches, including my win. So and he's had one cache. So uh, I'm doing pretty good. So he's got a lot. Of, he's got a lot of work to catch up to me. Okay. excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll keep an eye on that, and, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk soon again uh, and uh, make an update on, cool. on the score. All right, sounds good, Ricard. Okay, talk take care soon. now.